guys, Yummy Sorceress here. I apologize profusely, to the best of my ability. This was supposed to be done last Thursday, or Friday at the latest. Well, if you guys watch the news like you are supposed to, you will realize that there was a ginormous, monstrous hurricane, a.k.a. Matthew. Matthew came into my area, and let's just say it has been a major cleanup. The back of my house is flooded. I'm waiting for insurance people to come every five minutes. Excuses, excuses. The point is, I can do this now as I kind of get my life back together. Enough complaining, let's get to unboxing this. Yes, there are no lights in this place, so as long as the daylight is around, we will do this. First of all, while I'm doing this unboxing, it's very nice that there's very little light. It's really nice on the eyes. So, as you all know, we are unboxing Android 18 out of the Dragon Ball Gal series that is all the talk the past couple of months. It was first released with Bulma. Two versions of Bulma, actually. I did not get either one. I might in the future if the price comes down a bit, but these are pretty expensive, but we will go over them price-wise after we are done reviewing this. But I must say, for the price, you would think that it would come in a bigger box. All right, there we go. Goodbye box, goodbye paper, goodbye shipping address stuff, and, well, Christmas again. We unwrap. So, like I said, kind of small to begin with, and nothing wrong with this. I'm starting to like smaller figures a little bit more because the larger figures, they, they take up a lot of room on my shelves. So I would prefer the smaller the better so I could fit them all back here, of which I have way more than this, but it's over there, it's over there, it's kind of starting over there. At some point, I need to make a new studio. Okay, so unwrapping. And there you go. We have Android 18 in her tiny little box. I'm, I'm very happy to have this figure. I was a huge Dragon Ball fan uh, back in kind of my first few years of high school and even back in 6th and 7th grade middle school, I guess you would call it. And it faded out a little bit. But really the past few years, especially with the release, the re-release, in my opinion, of Dragon Ball Z, now known as Dragon Ball Z Kai, so it supposedly edited out a lot of the power-up scenes that took literally five episodes of everyone just doing this. <gasps> Three episodes later. <gasps> So finally by episode five, yeah, they like release one giant big attack and you see the earth or whatever kind of looking like it's exploding and then that takes up that full episode. But you get it. Anyway, I'm so happy that they finally released some figures of the girls. Usually it is just exclusive for the boys, Goku, Trunks, Vegeta. Nothing wrong with this. I do love all the guys, but it's nice to see a little bit of appreciation to the girls of this series and especially Android 18. She was pro probably, maybe second. She was my second favorite female. She may even still be my first. At the moment, I'm a huge fan of Pan, so you see her just at the end of Dragon Ball Z and a lot in Dragon Ball GT. So I am hoping that they release a Pan figure. It would be nice. All right, so let's take a look at the box in general. What do you need to look for in order for this to be authentic? First with these, you need this gold sticker. This comes on a lot of the Sailor Moon products as well. You have to make sure that it's either gold or it's silver. So I believe it says it's it's from Bandai, the Bandai sticker, but easily recognizable should be on the top there. Also, you need to look for the Mega House symbol right there at the bottom. So once again, tells you it's authentic and we are all happy. Side view of the box. So we have Android number 18 located on the bottom there. It's from this, this series that they're going on about right now, the Dragon Ball Gals series. And there's a few more of these figures that are coming out and we will discuss those a little bit later in this unboxing. And of course you get a nice close up of her face. And of course the reason why probably a lot of people bought this, the cleavage. Yes, we all like the cleavage. Let's go and get one of these figures. 
And other side, we have the full scale figure of what it's supposed to look like. I think it's a gorgeous figure. Who cares about the breasts? I mean, everyone love your breasts. Go on now. I think that was mostly directly directed to the girls. Apologize. All girls out there, love your breasts. And backside, once again, the front view and the back view of the figure. Once again, from the series, and we all love these disclaimers at the bottom, do not let your children eat this. All right, scissor time. Let's open this box very delicately. So slipping her out delicately here. And we can even discuss a bit on the inside of the box for a second. Stars, stars throughout the sides of the box. And then at the very bottom, we have a darker bluish, even some light bluish, coloring at the bottom with lots of stars even. So that's a nice little touch. Apparently Android 18 is known for stars. Not sure if the other boxes have stars or a different shape on them. So without even releasing her from her plastic, she's pretty small. Very thin compared to other figures that I have opened. So in one way, I don't understand why the price would be so high on these figures. It must be very good. Let's continue to open it. <laughs> All right, box open. So let's just take a look at the stand for a change. It's, it's plain. It does have the Dragon Ball Z logo at the bottom and even the Dragon Ball Z very tiny in the Japanese characters located at the bottom right here. Nice touch. It's very hard to see because it's transparent, but it kind of has like that C, so Capsule Corp, I believe it's standing for, for the little stand figure. It's nothing amazing, but heck, it's much better than one of those plain white stands. Nothing more to really discuss on the stand. We have, oh, well, you really can never avoid this. Even in Japan, they get their stuff made in China. So at the top there, oh gosh, this just doesn't pick it up at all. You have, it's saying made in China, and even in Japanese character surprises says made in China. Okay, nothing more to discuss on the stand. Let's get to the actual figure here. The nice thing about this figure, you don't have to install anything, and it doesn't look like she's wrapped in plastic that much. Okay, here we go, guys. Here's our sexy Android 18. I like her. Uh, of course, once more, I'm still surprised that she's so small. I was expecting something just a little bit taller. Well, maybe not. And maybe just because she looks very thin, but she stands just below seven inches. So not too bad she's tall, but I mean, the biggest part about her is her booty. Yes. We got a nice sexy booty here. So a little close up view on this figure and all of the details with her. Eyes are, well, very, very slanted. I do like her eyes. A lot of anime characters don't really portray these very slanty eyes with the girls. Instead, it's like those big round angel-like eyes for most of them. Her hair, it looks like the sculptor did a very good job taking the time with each individual strand. So detail-wise, it's phenomenal, and it, I do like how it whips, wisps away kind of in the wind there. It does give the figure a nice touch, and it came out very well. There's no paint that's stuck in between each tiny little hair that I can see, so there's nothing that the sculpture missed at all. In fact, I'm really impressed by the hair. It's really sculptured, very nice. Can't really get away from the hair. Now, paint job. I was expecting it to be more glossy. In fact, the whole figure in general is nothing but a matte finish. A little disappointing on that. I was hoping that it would be glossy, but too bad. Paint job, though, is very nice, especially on the blue part. You do see most of it is dark blue, but along the folds and where the light hits it, it's a little bit more on the lighter blue side. So that's a nice touch. And even on the back here, definitely nice sculpturing, an amazing paint job, perfect folds right here. And I do love the logo on the back. Nice coloring, nice folding as well, and a nice breeze going through her coat in the back. And on the sides here where you see her striped shirt. I do not see one problem at all with the paint job. They did 
very, very nice kind of measuring perfectly the spaces in between each stripe. And I guess this is where the price kicks in. It's the quality of the figure. It's not about how big it is, the glossy finish. It's mostly about the sculpture job. We're comparing the hair here, as well as the colors and the paint job for this. And they did an excellent, excellent job, I would say. All right, fan service, guys. Yes, we have the giant cleavage. I don't even know. This. Where, do, where do you even get a bra for this? I don't even know what it is, but we're going up into like the G cup range or something. Girl, how are you not falling over? I do admit it is exaggerated a lot in the chest area and in the booty area. But this is how all the gal series from the mega house that they are releasing right now, this is how they are all portrayed. Extra sexual, extra chest, extra booty. So Bulma was the same way, especially in her rabbit suit. The nice thing though, is that at least Android 18 wears black stockings. So she's, she's covered up. So that's a bit nice. Is she covered up? Yeah, she's covered up. So black all the way through. It's mostly just the cleavage area that it's really just about to pop out. But fellas, you'll love her. Come on. You have to admit that you want one of these. Boots are very nicely done as well. I do like the color. And really with the strap here, first off, I never even noticed that she had a strap going around the boots during the anime, but it goes completely around the shoe. Usually for a sculpture, they just stop it here and then it's white on the bottom. And also the very small details, they just did not forget with this figure. She does have tiny little gold earrings on each side and they're, they're delicate, so probably don't poke at them too much, but they are pretty stable as well as the belt. So a little bit more of a shiny gold right there. So it's those just tiny little cute little touches that make the figure really nice. You even see some gold little buttons going across the back of her vest right there. And it is a beautiful figure. It is a nice figure. I'm just surprised that for the amount of money that you spend on this, why maybe it just wasn't a little bit bigger, glossier, something but this all goes back to the quality of the sculpture the paint job is good who cares if it's a matte finish it's really good as well as the sculpturing we're going back to the hair here i mean every single tiny little hair strand was sculptured this must have taken hours out of the sculpture's life to do this okay so very carefully we are now going to place her on her stand oh Bit of a tight fit, but that is good. It doesn't seem like she's going to topple over easily. So it's her left foot that goes into the stand and her right foot is just hung freely over the stand, kind of stepping over the D and the R of the Dragon Ball symbol. But there she is in all of her glory. Now let me go and give you guys a little bit of info on this figure as well as the other Dragon Ball girls that are coming out in the next couple of months as well as where are the best places to get these figures at the best price, and even a little bit about what people are already saying about these figures. Okay guys, the best places that I usually go to get authentic figures, it's either Hobby Search or AmiAmi. Ami. With these figures, I highly suggest going to AmiAmi. Ami. It's a little bit cheaper, whereas I bought this one off of Hobby Search with some points that I accumulated throughout the past few years, it helped, but if you guys are paying out of the pocket, you're looking to spend about $84.71. To me, that is a lot for this type of figure, and I'm not a thousand percent sure why these type of figures are so expensive. Ami Ami though, if you go there, you're saving a little bit. So now we're down to $75.50. Not too bad, right? You're saving, what, $10? That'll just go towards your shipping. So Android 18, currently still available across both websites. Your choice on which one you want to go to. I looked her up on Amazon, but I'm seeing prices in the 100s for her. I never really understand why Amazon just jacks up the prices on these figures, but it's not really Amazon's fault. It's scalpers. 
Thank you, scalpers. But so far, these figures, there's a lot of controversy on them. And they're pretty easy to find because a lot of people don't like how the sculptures came out. And this is because they're highly sexualized. Uh, their chests are just busting out everywhere. I can see why a big fan of the Dragon Ball Z series probably would not like these type of figures. And when these were first announced a couple weeks, well, a couple months ago, is that a lot of people took it to the internet saying, I will not buy this figure. How dare that they make women portrayed like this. But guys, I mean, this is how figures are in the anime world. Highly sexualized most of the time. I mean, just take a look at all the Dark Magician Girl ones that I've been unboxing. I, I get your frustration, but I'm not going to complain at all. Heck. She has cleavage. Get over it. So if you guys are interested in any of the other girls that are coming out from this series, here's a list of the ones that are out and that will be coming out in the next few weeks and even in the coming months. The first ones that were released were two versions of Bulma, one in her signature black bunny suit, and the other one is in her kind of army-like suit, and this was mostly portrayed in the original Dragon Ball manga series. Android 18 was second to be announced on the list, and now we're just starting to get a few more that are coming out. For example, we just got this week an announcement that Videl from, from Dragon Ball Z is up for pre-order. Right now, she is pretty much the same in price as Android 18, so about $80.26 on Hobby Search. You can definitely get it for a little bit cheaper if you go to AmiAmi.com. And we also have a Dragon Ball version of Chi Chi that is up for pre-order. And this one is a little better price-wise. And I must say, I like the colors on this one, especially on the helmet and the cape. It really looks like they did a phenomenal job. This one is currently going for about $56, so much better, about $20 to $30 cheaper than the adult versions of the girls. And then finally, we have two versions of one more character, and I am so surprised that they made her into a figure because I love this girl so much. It's hilarious. But we also have two version, versions of Lunch. Anyone remember this girl? She was only... A, I believe in the Dragon Ball series. I don't believe she made it to the Z series, but you can get her in her blonde version, so her evil self when she sneezes, or her kind black-haired self when she's at her normal self, when she's at her normal stage. Don't know what I'm saying. Now here's the special thing with the lunch figures, is that you can get the blonde one, so the evil one, both at Hobby Search and Ami Ami, for about the same price, as Android 18, so you're expected to be in the $80, $85 range. The black-haired version, this is an exclusive figure, and AmiAmi is the only place that I know of at the moment that you can pre-order this figure, and she's expensive. And this is probably because she's exclusive, and pre-orders are going fast. If you want this one, expect to pay $95. You know what, we're gonna boost that up. Expect $100 for this figure. Yeah, not exactly sure why they made this one the exclusive one, but whatever. <laughs> so for the moment, the only other one that I ordered from this series is the blonde version, the evil version of Lunch. She will be released in, I believe, late November. So I have a couple more months to do a few more unboxings from other series. So November, we get to look forward to Lunch and all of her cleavage and booty coming towards us to be displayed right next to Android 18. I might get a couple more of these, but they are very expensive. So we'll just have to wait and see. For the moment though, very happy that I at least have Android 18 and lunch on the way. In the meantime, I am still waiting for the Lemon Magician Girl that goes with the Kotobukiya series of the Yu-Gi-Oh! Girls from the movie. She is supposed to be released sometime this month. Have not gotten word yet but maybe in the next week, she will then be the next one to unbox. In the meantime, thank you so much for joining me on another wonderful unboxing in a house that I'm still waiting for power. My computer's gonna run out of battery soon, isn't it? 
Oh, and I still need to edit this. Be patient with me as I get my life back together and make friends with all those insurance people. No one makes friends with them. I don't think that they do. If you guys love the unboxing, if you love all the stuff that I do, etc., etc., go down to the description, click the like button, subscribe to me. I will love you guys forever. Thank you so much. Love to entertain you all. In the meantime, I am off. I will be back with more unboxings, more speed drawings, probably even some more gameplay in the near future. I really want to do some of that. I just can't get my act together. Yay, thank you, Hurricane Matthew, setting me back even further. Okay, Yami Sorceress is out. Have a wonderful electricity-filled day because I do not have it. See ya!